Hello everyone, I'm Professor Ricardo. In this video we are going to solve a quantum mechanics problem. So consider two cats, alpha and beta, and suppose alpha a prime, alpha a two primes and so on, and beta a prime, beta a two primes and so on are all known, where a prime, a two primes form a complete set of base cats. Find the matrix representation of the operator alpha beta in the cat bra form in that basis. So, first, let's consider this arbitrary alpha and including the identity on this cat, we get these coefficients multiplying the eigencat a prime on this summation. And the same for beta. So, beta is going to be this is identity multiplied by the beta, and then we understand this as the coefficients multiplying uh, the, the eigencats. So here, explicitly, we can see the coefficients multiplying each eigencat. So the matrix element of a certain matrix X, we know that it is this product here of this bra the operator and this cat. So how can we obtain that? We know that X can be written as this product here, where we introduce the closure property twice. So one of the summations over A prime and the other over A2 primes. So you can see here the product A prime A prime and here A2 prime A2 prime. And then this term here in blue is exactly the matrix element of X. So this is the, the matrix on this representation, and this term here is called the matrix element of X. So considering this operator alpha beta, in other words, let's make uh, X being equal to alpha beta, then instead of this term, we will get A prime alpha, beta, A2 primes. And this product of these two coefficients are the matrix elements xij, the matrix elements of x. And we are using the, the notation ij because maybe it is easy to understand the lines and the columns of, uh, of the, the matrix x. So xij is the, instead of A prime, we will write AI and instead of A2 primes AJ. And we are writing instead of beta AJ, we will write AJ beta star. So this is the result of the matrix element XIJ. And now we consider a spin half system and let alpha and beta be SZ equal h bar over 2 and sx h bar over 2 respectively. So write down explicitly the square matrix that corresponds to alpha beta in the usual sz diagonal basis. We are going to use the sz basis to solve this problem. So we know that alpha and beta can be written as these linear combinations here. And in our case, alpha is sz uh, equals h bar over 2. And using the usual SZ diagonal basis, we are going to write it just as the cat plus. And we know that this cat is 1 over the square root of 2 on, on the component plus, plus 1 over the square root of 2 on the component minus. So now thinking about the coefficients, the coefficient alpha plus is 1. The coefficient alpha minus is equal to zero. There is no minus component on, on alpha. For the beta, the coefficient beta plus is 1 over the square root of 2, and the same for the coefficient beta uh, on, on minus. If we have all these coefficients, we can write down the, the matrix elements xij. So alpha beta is this product in the cat bra form. So for this first element, x11, we will have alpha plus multiplied by beta plus. 
So we, we can forget about this star, the complex conjugate of this term, because the, they are all real numbers. Alpha plus, which is equal to 1, times beta plus, which is this term here. So we get 1 times 1 over the square root of 2. For the other diagonal element, x2, 2, 2, it will be alpha minus times beta minus. But alpha minus is equal to 0, so this is 0. For the off-diagonal elements, we will get alpha plus times beta minus, which is 1 times 1 over the square root of 2. And for x2, 1, this term here, it will be alpha minus times beta plus. Alpha minus is equal to 0. So writing down 1 over the square root of 2 as a factor, we got this result here.